AIB, the company that puts up comedy online, has gotten itself into trouble again. This time for using a Snapchat filter on a photograph of the Prime Minister Narendra Modi. As things stand right now, an FIR has been filed against AIB for defamation. The question we are asking this evening, is there a line really? A dotted line perhaps within our rules of freedom of speech and expression or is this allowed? Where does the law stand exactly on what AIB is doing? And we should also ask at this point for a company and for a group of people that's constantly getting themselves into trouble, is AIB doing it for publicity? Or are they simply being funny and should we just laugh it off? Well, Tanmay Bhatt from AIB, who put up this image, also put out a tweet. And he said he's going to continue making jokes and then deleting them if necessary. And then making jokes again and then apologizing if necessary. Don't care what you think. That's what Tanmay Bhatt has said. Don't care what you think. He will continue to make jokes and delete them if necessary. The visual of uh, the, the Prime Minister with the Snapchat filter of the dog on it has now been deleted. But the FIR has been registered. So here's the question that we're asking you, that I'm asking you today. Do you believe that AIB took it too far? Do you believe that freedom of speech and expression allows them to make jokes? Or is there a special rule or law that should prevent people from making jokes about maybe the Prime Minister of the country and other such important leaders? Our phone lines are open and I welcome you to join the conversation. But in the studio with me, uh, talking about this, Anila Singh, spokesperson of the BJP. Babu Bhai is the former deputy mayor of Mumbai, also representing the BJP. Pallavi Singh is a fashion blogger. Kashyap Saroop is a stand-up comedian and an author. Uh, Sujay Kantavala, senior lawyer. Aditya Pratap is an advocate. They bring in the legal point of view. Sunil Pal is a comedian. And uh, Ramakrishnan is a member of Think Right. I welcome all of you to this conversation. But first, let's take a look for our viewers who don't know what's going on and what this entire controversy is about. Take a look. Stand-up comics AIB are being roasted. An FIR has been filed against the company for tweeting a post on Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Against AIB has been registered at Cyber Crime Police Station. Investigation is going on in this matter. The comics Snapchatted a Prime Minister Modi look-alike with him with a dog filter. The tweet shows a Modi look-alike standing at a railway station with a duffel bag and is tagged Wanderlust. The meme instantly went viral, but not in the way AIB would have hoped. It clearly shows that every two, three months, because AIB gets out of business, and that is why they come forward and come with such type of comedy. Tanmay Bhatt, he's a serial offender. Uh, you know, at the cost of uh, sounding cliched, uh, let me repeat, ad nauseum, I will say this for anyone who cares to hear, that there is a very thin line between having a great sense of humor and being offensive. Modi supporters on Twitter were not impressed and roasted Team AIB. AIB deleted the tweet. Founder Tanmay Bhatt used Twitter to make a case deploring the lack of rational reasoning. But the damage was done. One Twitter user, Ritesh Maheshwari, tweeted to the Mumbai police and the commissioner about this obnoxious prank which ultimately led to the FIR. The cyber branch of Mumbai has filed an FIR against a comedy group AIB for allegedly insulting Prime Minister Narendra Modi by posting an image of, uh, of his lookalike on Twitter and accompanying his picture with a Snapchat dog filter. AIB is no stranger to controversy and have made their name targeting the stars and politicians. However, this particular meme begs the question, has AIB gone too far? Mira now report. Well, that's the question. Has AIB gone too far? Or should we just all laugh this off in uh, general humor and uh, freedom of expression? That's the question we're asking this evening. Let me open it up. I'm uh, obviously going to start with uh, Sujay Kandawala. Legally, where do we stand, Sujay? Uh, you know, based on the law, is this allowed? Is this not allowed? Look at the intention, the mens rea. Uh, a criminal offence has been committed beyond reasonable doubt. Mm -hmm. Tanmay Bhatt feels that putting something, deleting, again playing the victim, again deleting, he'll get away like every time. 
But I think Tanmay Bhatt this time uh, has gone very far. He does not realize what he has done. He has, in fact, he has caused grave insult. And therefore, it is right that the crime has been registered. And why only one? Any citizen can go and lodge a crime today against Tanmay Bhatt. Look, mindless copycat. This is what it is. Sense of humor is one thing. But you cannot being a, you cannot do mindless copycatting and then you can keep on insulting so, somebody is, like the is, Prime Minister. What is what is mindless copycatting? What do you mean? Exactly. That? That's what he did. He did it with Lata Mangeshkar, he did it with Sachin Tendulkar. That is what that's not sense of humor. Come on, man, great creative, great original. Yeah, you, we, we, uh, we, we respect comedians. That we want to laugh. Definitely, no doubt about it. But there's a line. You have to draw a line. And freedom. Excuse me. Freedom of expression is tempered. The Constitution does not allow you to get away with anything. You cannot disrespect other others. And therefore, your freedoms, which you are claiming, they are also accompanied by your obligations under the law. You but, cannot get away. This is not an open Hyde okay. Park for you to okay. say anything so, and get so, away with so it. So the FIR has been registered under Section 500 of the Indian Penal Code, which is defamation, and Section 67 of the IPC, in the, uh, of the Information Technology Act, I beg your pardon, which basically says punishment for publishing or transmitting obscene material in an electronic form. Does this qualify, though, as obscene material, Sujay? No, uh, listen, I don't want to go into the nitty gritty of the obscene part or not. I'm going on the defamation straight away. Defamation has been committed beyond reasonable doubt. Tanmay Bhatt needs to face legal action immediately. Nothing short of arrest and locking him up. That's it. Uh, okay, so I, I want to point out a couple of things here that the, uh, the tweet or the visual that was morphed and sent out was put out by AIB. Uh, not by one, not by Tanmay Bhatt or one particular individual, but by AIB. And the FIR is registered against AIB. Uh, Section 500 under the Indian uh, Penal Code is punishment for defamation. And this is what it says. Whoever defames another shall be punished with a simple imprisonment uh, of a term that may extend to two years or a fine or both. So defamation and obscene material in an electronic form. This is what the, the company has been charged with. But I want to open this up to our entire panel and find out what everybody thinks. Pallavi Singh, young fashion blogger, what's your opinion right now? I think um, AIB and Tanmay, they're very smart mm -hmm. in terms of they know when they are losing uh, their funny bit. So they come up with something, create a controversy, get on primetime news like this. I mean, you know, it's not even funny. And the amount of attention we are giving them. You know, uh, there are other people who are funny. If they're not being funny, but you are bringing it as an FIR, bringing it as a big discussion, it's not funny, just leave it aside. Don't give them that much of attention. You know, we have such big things going on in the country right now. Mm. Mumbai police is tweeting about this picture. There was somebody, some girl who had, you know, uh, put up this uh, video where uh, a guy was masturbating and the police has done nothing. So take action on that and don't give attention to something which is not even that big deal. All right, don't give attention. So, you know, there's a reason why we're, we're, we're talking about this. And I'll tell you why it is, because there is going to be, uh, you know, a, a sub-conversation that will happen on Twitter. And I'm, I'm going to have to answer for it, saying, why are you bringing this up on primetime news? Because uh, these are important conversations to have. Communication changes every day. I mean, there was a time when you only communicated uh, through television or through newspapers. And now there's Twitter, and now there's Facebook that we all have access to. And it's important for us to know, uh, A, to first have a conversation about what's acceptable and what's not. And it's important for us to know legally where all of us stand because we use all of this every day. And you should understand where it all stands. Let me bring in Sunil Pal. Sunil Pal is a comedian too. Sunil? क्या आपको लगता है कि AIB की कॉमेडी अभी जारी रखनी चाहिए ये चलेगा ऐसी जो कॉमेडी उन्होंने बनाया अभी सबसे पहले तो मेरा हाथ जोड़ के निवेदन है आप लोगों से कि तन्मय को कॉमेडियन बोलना बंद कीजिए प्लीज स्टैंडअप कॉमेडियन बोलना बंद कीजिए उसको उसको आर्टिस्ट बोलना बंद कीजिए ही इज नॉट अ आर्टिस्ट वो अपनी चीप पब्लिसिटी के लिए जानबूझकर हमेशा देश के प्राइड जो लोग हैं जो जिनकी वजह से देश की पहचान है चाहे लता मंगेशकर जी हो चाहे सचिन तेंदुलकर हो चाहे नरेंद्र मोदी हो या आगे चल के वो किसी को भी वो अपने आप को अपने बाप को भी नहीं छोड़ेगा चीप पब्लिसिटी के लिए तो मुझे लगता है कि ये इनका काम है क्योंकि इनके पास ये आर्टिस्ट तो है नहीं आर्टिस्ट आर्ट आर्ट के आर्ट से कला से 
ये लोगों को प्रभावित कर दें या लोगों को हंसा दें ऐसा कोई इनके अंदर हुनर मैंने देखा नहीं इनके जितने भी मैंने शोज़ देखे हैं वो शोज़ या तो बैन किए गए हैं या तो इन पर कोई केस हुआ है या तो इन इनको लोगों ने बहिष्कार किया है और ये ऐसे इस टाइप के क्रिमिनल माइंड के लोग हैं मेरे हिसाब से ये आर्टिस्ट नहीं ये ये आतंकवादी है ये सिमिलर टू आतंकवादी है और ऐसे लोगों को वैसे ट्रीट करना चाहिए देश के दुश्मनों के साथ जैसे किया जाता है क्योंकि हमेशा अपने फायदे के लिए अपने अपने आप को चलाने के लिए जिन्होंने खून पसीने से अपना नाम कमाया ऐसे लोगों को इंसल्ट करते हैं तो मैं समझता हूँ कि ये ए टाइप की चीज़ें जो है वो हिंदुस्तान में होनी ही नहीं चाहिए आ, मैं हम लोग भी कॉमेडी करते हैं हम लोग पिछले 25 तीस साल से कॉमेडी कर रहे हैं हम भी नरेंद्र मोदी जी की नकल करते हैं हम भी लता जी की नकल करते हैं हम भी सचिन जी की तो नकल फिर करते उस हैं। नकल और इस नकल, नकल में क्या फर्क है एफ आई आर सुनील पाल सुनील पाल सुनील पाल आप आप तो जानते होंगे कि कॉमेडियंस तो हर हर लोगों की नकल करते हैं वो अमिताभ बच्चन की सबसे फेमस नकल होती है पीपल इमिटेट पीपल ऑल द टाइम वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन दैट एंड दिस हाँ तो मैं कह रहा हूँ कि वो आज तक हम लोगों ने सब किया है उसके बावजूद एफ आई तो छोड़ो एन सी भी नहीं हुई और एन तो छोड़ो ऑडियंस में से भी किसी ने आकर ये नहीं बोला कि आप ये गलत कर रहे हो या ये सही कर रहे हो वो एंजॉय करके गए इवन इवन अमिताभ बच्चन सामने बैठे हो लता जी सामने बैठी हो सोनू निगम सामने बैठे हो या किसी भी बड़े कलाकार को हमने सामने बिठा उनकी नकल करके हंसाया है और उनका आशीर्वाद और उनकी शाबाशी यही पाई है हमने उनके कॉम्प्लीमेंट्स पाए हैं ये हमारे ये ये मैं चाहता हूं कि काम ऐसा किया जाए ये नहीं कि जिस तरह से no, but, 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 hang on. So we are we are currently we are currently taking offence. We are currently taking offence on behalf of the prime minister. The prime minister has not personally responded to any of this. We are taking offence on behalf of the prime minister. What is the difference, Sujay Gandhi Wala, among uh, those people who imitate, who make fun? and this one visual let's actually like set aside our emotions and look at it coldly what is the difference no but if somebody makes fun uh, if somebody insults mahatma gandhi somebody insults vallabhbhai patel why i need them to come and uh, lodge an fir i will lodge it as a citizen of this country why should i wait for him to come hmm. i am going to lodge it i respect the man he is our prime minister look where he has taken the country today indians are respected all over the world he is hobnobbing with the top political leaders of the presidents prime ministers where we have reached and this is the way you uh, behave for you, cheap would publicity you, would you say this, would you, would this you say that AIB emotion group needs to be banned they need to be banned okay. because they have taken freedom of expression to an absurd limit would the constitution say, doesn't allow that would you say that sort of emotion should also be linked to all prime ministers it's this country it's not emotion it's not emotion i'm talking here as a citizen and as a lawyer and therefore i'm saying that enough is enough you cannot have absurdity you cannot have this kind of insulting yes be funny no problem everybody likes to laugh but there is a limit where there is an uh, agni uh, there is a rekha lakshman rekha beyond which you can't travel how how, you, how can you tell where that rekha is no therefore that depends on facts of each case and this is what i'm seeing he has crossed the line definitely this is defamation there is no doubt about it if this uh, person would have not lost the fir i would have lost the fir what aditya, is wrong aditya in aditya pratap that? aditya pratap well, uh, i would i would differ a bit on the legal aspects okay First go of ahead all, What are the offences committed here? Offence of defamation is committed, no doubt. However, there is absolutely no offence made out under Section 67 of the IT Act because this post cannot be termed as obscenity. Section 67 clearly says that an obscene item must appeal to the prurient interest. In this case, this is not lascivious or prurient as such. There is nothing obscene in this post. Now, secondly, when the offence of defamation is committed under Section 500 of the IPC. an fir cannot be registered because defamation is a non cognizable offence under section 155 of the crpc when defamation is a non cognizable offence only a private complaint with the magistrate can be lodged and when we see section 199 of the code of criminal procedure the locus standi lies either with the person who's defamed or by a person who's aggrieved in this case a criminal no fir can be filed only a simple case of defamation can be filed in the directly before the magistrate and that too by none other than mr narendra modi himself or maybe one of his close friends or 
relatives etc why any citizen can do it i i don't agree with that no again the term person aggrieved has to be construed in a in a slight rather than i am saying this on national tv i am the person aggrieved no if why you are, if why you are you, then why you aggrieved please they tell me why i will lodge a private complaint but why i don't need to wait for this fir i will lodge a private complaint but what is wrong in that they can you're right but in this when case there cannot be an committed i can approach the law they cannot be an fir in a defamation case fair enough false fir fair enough i will lodge a complaint No, Let's that, overcome your technical objection. That they are at liberty, but an FR in this case is not maintainable at all. Okay, so, so actually, um, you know, why don't you help us out, Aditya Pratap, for the benefit of our viewers? Can you dis? Can you explain to us what defamation actually is and how it applies in this particular case? Well, defamation is an act or statement which is committed, which is said or published or put in public domain by a person, by which any person, his, his uh, prestige. his dignity his reputation is affected and mm -hmm. the publication should be such that the person's image in society gets lowered as such so for a defamation case there are three components number 1 there must be an intention to defame after an intention to defame there must be a publication of an item to the public at large or any even a third person third is that such a an imputation or a publication or statement should have lowered that person's image or in the eyes of society or right. of another person right. in this or particular in case, case let's let's say or right, right, right. right. intended to Mr. Narendra Modi should approach the, approach the magistrate yeah, i don't agree and right. file so, a so, private so, complaint so 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 by that definition if we if let's take intention and publication as a given the third point of lowering an image has this in any way sujay gandhawala lowered the image of crime it is attempted the, one doesn't need to have to prove that that is for damages he is talking about damages if i if i say that my image is lower than i can sue for damages but if the attempt is that the criminal offense has been committed so we are discussing the criminal the, offense okay, we are discussing the criminal offense That's right. so so you believe that there was an attempt through this clear cut attempt okay. with mens rea and ill intention okay all right nikhil is on the phone line from delhi our phone lines are open nikhil go ahead hello yes nikhil go ahead hey this is kunal prasad Oh, Kunal. Kunal Kamra is a comedian. Kunal, I'm glad to have you on the show. Um, yeah, we're to, we're talking about an FIR, which is a, now a fairly serious deal that has been uh, registered under Section 500 of the IPC and 67 of the IT Act against AIB. Where do you stand on this, Kunal? I think any joke deserves an FIR. I don't know why are we filing criminal. Like the cops have a lot to do. Nothing deserves an FIR. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Just the meme. Just look at the meme. You like from more than. Well, we as a country come to a place where the meme is getting an FIR. It should be political comedy on TV. No file from that time. I don't know what is so how that book about. All right, Kunal, stay with us. Kunal says he doesn't know. Uh, this is this is political uh, com uh, comedy. He doesn't know what all the fuss is about. Let me bring in, uh, let me bring in Babu Bai, uh, who represents the BJP. Babu Bai, आप बताइए. Uh, क्या आपको लगता है यहाँ इस पर्टिकुलर केस में एफआईआर दर्ज करना बनता है कि यहाँ पे डेफोमेशन हुई है जो पुलिस ने किया है परफेक्ट किया है और वो बनता ही है क्योंकि वो इस देश के प्राइम मिनिस्टर है और 125 125 करोड़ लोगों का नेतृत्व कर रहा है यहाँ तक के पूरे विश्व में आज की तारीख में जो नरेंद्र मोदी जी ने जो काम किया है जिनके इनका नाम जो है पूरे विश्व के अंदर है और हे जो लोगों ने जिस तरह से उनको आ, आ, उनको जो बदनाम किया है जो जोक्स किया है वो गलत है इनको कड़क से कड़क सजा होनी चाहिए ऐसा मेरा मानना है इस तरह से जो बताया है और यही आज का नहीं इसके पहले भी इन्होंने लता मंगेशकर के ऊपर बोला है और जो हमारे भारत के क्रिकेटर है सचिन तेंदुलकर उनके बारे में भी इन्होंने इस तरह का बात किया है तो बहुत गलत है और ऐसे लोगों को यहाँ से ही दबा लेने की आवश्यकता है और इस तरह का जो काम करते हैं उनको एफ आई लगाने की भी जरूरत नहीं इससे भी आगे जो भी कड़क से कड़क सजा होती है यहाँ इनको करना चाहिए और उसको बैंड लगाना चाहिए जिससे आने वाले टाइम पर और कोई व्यक्ति हमारे प्राइम मिनिस्टर का कोई बदनाम न कर सके उनके बारे में कोई जोक्स न कर सके क्योंकि वो खाई खाली वो प्राइम मिनिस्टर अपने देश का है साथ साथ पूरे विश्व का नेता बन चुके और ऐसे व्यक्ति को इस तरह से आप करते हैं इस तरह से मजाक उड़ाते बहुत ही गलत है और इसका विरोध जो है बाबू भाई बाबू भाई और दिस इज माई क्वेश्चन टू द होल पैनल बाबू भाई आपको भी क्या आपको लगता है कि ये हर एक प्राइम मिनिस्टर भारत के जितने सारे प्राइम मिनिस्टर थे हर एक प्राइम मिनिस्टर को अप्लाई करनी चाहिए ये जो आप बता रहे हैं 
क्या बोले ये जो आप आप रूल बता रहे हैं अभी कि हाँ। प्राइम मिनिस्टर की कभी हंसी मजाक नहीं होनी चाहिए नहीं होनी चाहिए तो हर एक प्राइम मिनिस्टर को अप्लाई होगी ये हर एक प्राइम मिनिस्टर को होना चाहिए हर एक प्राइम मिनिस्टर हाँ। उनका कोई बनता है ना उनका भी बनता है सुजय एवरी प्राइम मिनिस्टर दैट दिस कंट्री टेक्निकली बी अवॉर्डेड द सेम कर्टिसी विच मीन्स पोलिटिकल कार्टून बिन मेड अपटिल नाउ मेकिंग फन ऑफ प्रीवियस प्राइम मिनिस्टर्स मिस्टर श्री देव गौड़ा मिस्टर डॉक्टर मनमोहन सिंह दिस शुड अप्लाई टू ऑल ऑफ दैट Why let doesn't me, it apply to let all me, of that? Let me let me uh, stick to the point and uh, in focus that we are having today the debate. Hmm. The debate is on a defamation uh, case that has been registered under uh, ba, ba, against AIB as far as what they have done. That is defamatory and the law has to take its course. How as far this? as the as far How as the this? other prime ministers are concerned, yes. Uh, I will have to check up on that whether the intention was to insult and whether it was pure sense of humor as uh, uh, mr pal over here said that he has been making fun in good chest and people have appreciated that is a sense of humor that is a comedy actual comedy but where you border it on insult and you take it into that dangerous area then you have to face the consequences why if i and my uh, uh, say something about my fellow advocate colleague on the debate something that is defamatory he has a right to take action against me what is wrong in that so here we are talking about that kind of situation Right, But right. here, Faith, there is a point to be noted. Now, Ms. Oh, right, I accept the fact that this post is defamatory. That's But kind of but not every person can initiate a defamation action. Of course, India has a population of one thirty crore. But just because one thirty crore pe people idolize Narendra Modi, it does not mean that anyone can fight. This is because under Section one ninety nine of the CRPC, either the person who is defamed can file a defamation complaint or a person aggrieved. now the patna high court in the case of vishesh verma versus state of bihar held that the term person agree even with, with reference to a defamation case has to be construed in a restrictive manner just because you idolize the person who's defamed maybe he may, he may be some national leader does not give you the locus standi no, no, however if along with that prime minister no, of the country if, no but still if you are related to that person no, no, and jurisprudence and develops him you One suffer reputation loss then you can file a defamation law a and jurisprudence law and jurisprudence aditya they develop they have to develop with new events and that's how we so lawyers we so this, uh, this, this prime minister the so this prime minister has different rules that, so so why i my question remains the same why don't these rules apply to all prime ministers and how is this different from a political cartoon how is it subjective then to what people are taking offense to and what people are not taking no. offense to doesn't that in some way then tighten the you know the rules around uh, freedom of speech so we both agree over here that is defamatory aditya and we both agree yes, that i'm asking you both this question but I'm mr modi is elected can file the yes, complaint yeah. please go ahead so the picture used is of a look alike so if you go technically is it defamation because you're going through all of that because as you said you know there have been prime ministers in the past where there's always been some joke there was jokes about you know narsimha rao about atal bihari vajpayee the way he talks I, i mean i go back to my point you're just making this as a very big issue and giving them the publicity which is not really required well, something I'm can be funny or not funny it's not funny just leave it there you know mr modi is so digitally savvy Uh, I don't really think he would have an issue with a Snapchat filter. Right. Well, as far as the photo is concerned, it is still an innuendo. It is defamation. There's no doubt about it. And but it is also according to your uh, uh, just if you, according to your description of what defamation is, Aditya Pratap, yes. it has to have come from the aggrieved person. So right. if it has not come from the aggrieved person, does it still qualify as defamation because some guy decided to take offence? Isn't isn't that true of almost everything? If you went and tested things out in the country because people have such different views, somebody or the other would always take offence. Right. So that is why section the law clearly says that not it restricts the class of people who can file a defamation by the term person aggrieved. It means that the person who has suffered a genuine loss because of the act. not mr narendra modi is the ideal of crows of indians but just because he is the ideal of crows of indians does not mean that the crows of indians can run to protect him in a defamation case on the other hand if let's suppose someone is associated with mr modi his family member or someone let's suppose because of this act he suffers a loss he suffers a loss in prestige does like loss need to be quantified uh, no uh, the only quantification of loss is whether his image His reputation in society and the people around him has been affected or not. Right, a so, possibly so, be not even fifty people. 
if he suffers a loss in prestige or a loss in image among those 50 people because of a defamatory statement, it will be defamation. All right. And, and I also, you know, on, on, on one case, I still don't understand how this is different from a political cartoon that we see in our newspapers, which, uh, which let's be honest, all prime ministers that this country has ever had have been in political cartoons. Uh, Kashyap Swaroop joins me uh, right now. Kashyap, where do you stand as a writer and a comedian? Uh, well, I think uh, freedom of expression needs to be absolute. Uh, that's the first thing I want to establish over here. If, uh, if someone is saying something that is obviously, I mean, it's not... Uh, it's not something that's in terrible taste. It's a very funny meme, honestly. Uh, and it honestly humanizes Mr. Modi. Uh, if one might see this meme for the first time, you won't even know uh, that, you know, uh, there are past tragedies that are also in the picture that we're not referring to at all. Uh, so he seems like a neighborhood uncle, seems like a very nice guy in that meme. So I don't know what the offense is about. Uh, is it the fact that... He, a dog filter has been put on him. I think maybe a more appropriate uh, filter would have been the deer filter or some other filter. Uh, but right now, I think it's just uh, a controversy that is coming out of nothing. Uh, and <coughs> what's so bad about being like a puppy? I think that the cutest things there are, you know. Right. You know that, that that's that's a fair point, Aditya. Um, people who use Snapchat will tell you that it's it's not a dog filter. It's a puppy filter. It's uh, it's also very popular among children. It's meant to seem cute. It's meant to seem endearing. Yeah. And uh, for our viewers who, and, and I'm not going to show you the visual on the screen because it offends so many people, but basically there was a lookalike of uh, the Prime Minister who was photographed at a train station. The video, that, that visual of that lookalike, that, that one, went completely viral. What this particular visual does is, it, it, it basically says that here is the Prime Minister looking at his phone, trying on different filters and saying, oh, I like this filter. That's effectively what's happening in this particular meme, which has now completely taken on a life of its own. Now, I'm coming back to the point oh, of why. Just... Yes, well, may, if, if, why, why are we discussing this? We're discussing this because we have a lot of people who use social networking. We have a lot of people who use filters and they might make a mistake and wind up with an FIR against them if they're not careful. I actually want to know honestly right now, as a user of Twitter, what's allowed and what's not allowed, which is why we have lawyers on this panel. But we have some viewers who've called in. Nikhil is on the phone line from Delhi. Nikhil, go ahead. I just want to say that first thing at the outset that we are the very less efficiency and the number of vacancies in judiciary is also very low. So we must focus our energies on more important. And we know that there is no such great crime that Salme has done that we can arrest him or any law can arrest him. So if there is no arrest is being made or finally if we will not go into its logical conclusion. So why a pilot first place? Okay. Okay. Why, why waste the time of the law and order machinery by filing these FIRs? Amol is on the line from Pune. Amol, go ahead. Yes, yes, madam. Yes. I would like to ask the gentleman who just said that nobody can make fun of Mahatma Gandhi or the Prime Minister. Well, Amit Shah himself went and mockingly called the father of the nation as Chatur Banya. Where was this lawyer when Amit Shah said this? Sujay? I am also a Chatur Baniya. So, so you think that that was okay? That's this okay. was not. Chatur Baniya is okay. He was an intelligent. All Baniyas are intelligent. And that's thank you for the compliment. Okay. No, nobody called you a Chatur Baniya. So you are saying that it's okay to call uh, Mahatma Gandhi very intelligent. a Chatur Baniya? Chatur is intelligent. No, Chatur to you might be intelligent. intelligent. To me, it means cunning, no? Sorry, no, Chatur, it means intelligent. Sorry, please change. Please, before saying anything, please, uh, calling in, please, and, uh, see your uh, dictionary meanings. No, but then it Chatur is, is intelligent. Is sub my interpretation, interpretation can be wrong. Interpretation. My interpretation me, can be wrong. Let me bring do, we, do we have Anila Singh? Anila Singh, can you, can you hear the conversation? I want to just bring you in. And this is, uh, you know, uh, uh, th this is this is the real conversation. We're okay with casteist jokes, not with sarcasm. And the whole point is it circles back to subjectivity. What upsets someone? What doesn't upset someone? Now, Sujay is not upset by the comment made about uh, about the father of the nation, but he's upset about this visual. Shouldn't we at some level step aside from this sort of comedy and rise above it? Why are we filing FIRs? Can Anila hear me? Anila, can you hear me? 
Uh, we still we seem to still not have that uh, uh, that audio. Uh, Ramakrishna, member of Think Right, also joins us. Ramakrishna, where do you stand? <clears throat> I can hear you now. Well, uh, if we look at the objective of the cartoon or what, whatever it is, I think there is some sort of uh, malicious intention. Uh, the prime minister has been depicted as somebody who is fond of globe trotting than doing actual work for the country, which is the underlying. Uh, message that is given. In fact, some trolls in Malayalam also had appeared saying that Modi comes to Vadagara station also. Vadagara is one of those stations nearby to our place. Now, this Prime Minister has been working <laughs> uh, right throughout ever since he took over in May 2014 and he has been working for the nation. There are some sections of the uh, uh, so, uh, nation who are very unhappy that He's trying to put the nation back on track that the country that was before the colonialists came to India. The highest GDP nations of the world were China and India at those times. Now, some people are actually going beyond reasonable yeah, limits. For instance, if I, you might not have heard this particular comment made by one of those movie directors in Kerala. He called the Prime Minister Nara Adhaman. Nara Adhaman means lowest among mankind. I don't think our Prime Minister warrants to be addressed in that way. Definitely no, but, not. But Ramakrishna, not Ramakrishna, you're, you're now combining various uh, different instances and perhaps also combining your reaction to those different instances. If the comment uh, that was made on this particular tweet was wanderlust at a train station, uh, how can it be argued that the person standing at the train station likes to travel the world? What train will take you around the world? The underlying intention. Honestly, Subject to I interpretation, I assume. Something that the head of the Prime Minister has been fixed on some personality standing on the radio station. And it has been appeared to make us believe that, you know, to go into that very, very low levels, honestly. So that's not actually appreciated. Here is we have a Prime Minister who is actually working for the nation. I'm a finance professional, auditor, CA by profession. We can evaluate when people are doing uh, good or bad for the nation. He is exclusively India first. Then why should such a derogatory comment be placed? Okay, so, if, so your point is nobody a, nobody should make fun of the Prime again, Minister. So your point, Ramakrishnan, Sanjay, is that nobody should make fun of the Prime Minister because he is a good Prime Minister who is working for the country. Do you believe, and my question remains, Ramakrishnan, do you believe that this, this courtesy should be extended to all Prime Ministers that India has had in the past or is it just this one? Yeah, please go on. Sorry for, sorry for my interruption. No, no, my question to you is, do you believe that this courtesy should be extended to all of the Prime Ministers that India has ever had? Or, yes, definitely or, yes. Definitely it yes. It should be equal to everyone. However, every satire should serve a useful purpose. For instance, mm. if somebody is making fun of some faulty policy, like what these uh, um, British guys do, their satires serve a purpose, a constructive purpose, to serve an underlying point that, hey, Prime Minister, you have gone wrong somewhere. Here, there is no such underlying good objective behind it. It is actually intended to malign and out and out ridicule him, which is not appreciated at all. We cannot appreciate that. Look at that uh, past president. I think uh, her name I should not mention. But then she had traveled all over the world at the country's expense. Has anybody bothered to take stock of the expenses incurred for the country in that respect she has gone all over the world who, who is this that has but gone all over the, all over the world yes she has almost gone all over the world and that has issues. not served any useful purpose for the country on, on, okay so hang on hang on you know Ramakrishna this is exactly what I'm talking about this is why we should have this conversation useful purpose for the country no useful purpose for the country completely subject to your interpretation you are deciding what is useful and what is not I mean who are you to decide that some past president was not useful for this country and some current leader is useful for this country I think that is where the problem is that it's all subject to interpretation. It is all subject to you believing that this is okay and this is not okay. And that is why we need to be clearer about where our laws stand. Gorang is on the phone line from Vadodra. Gorang, go ahead. Uh, I think a mountain is being made out of a mole. Uh, it should be laughed off and the overburdened judiciary and police force, uh, should not be burdened even more. Because in the, in the past also, 
the current prime minister has made jibes on uh, as mauni baba to earlier prime minister and gudia to priyanka gandhi but it was taken in a lighter way and the audience laughed now hmm. so so why are we taking offense on behalf of the prime minister kaushik on the phone line from gurgaon kaushik go ahead yeah ma'am i can see mr sunil pal on your panel one mm-hmm. of the panelists and i am a great fan of him and he made such comedies uh, the all politicians including prime minister also previous prime minister also but those are all in good sense you know those are all carry good sense of humor it's a pure comedy but in this case i feel this is a complete kind of you know negligence and it's kind of Uh, making mummy of the uh, prime minister which is not okay as a prime minister which is not okay it is kind of insult i feel so and insulting prime minister is not okay in a, i that is my opinion well uh, let me take this back to anila singh anila singh anila singh if you can hear me right now uh, i echo what the other people are saying at this point these sort of fir's burden our uh, law and order machinery to a point where they get distracted shouldn't we be focusing on the problems at hand as opposed to focusing on what we're taking offense to and what we're not taking offense to uh for first of all bharatiya janata party or uh, the government in the center or narendra modi as a prime minister himself like uh, none of them have lodged of fir so you can't blame us for it and number 2 it is uh, we the people of india we have to decide that what is the thin line what is the line in between the u- uh, humor and to insult somebody anyone and the prime minister of india like he has a uh, cheeks to insult anybody prime minister of india the greatest cricket player the uh, one of the icons in music world lata mangeshkar ji what does he what does he wants to portray i simply want to understand one thing from this youth what he wants to portray is this the humor just to insult the prime minister of india one of the most popular leader of the world yesterday only forbes report came 75% of indians they are satisfied from uh, 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 modi ji's government he is making fun of such prime minister i fail to understand if our constitution has given us the right to speech and expression so they are going to misuse it humor is good But misuse on what level i i don't and dirt in a lighter way but making fun of somebody is not acceptable at all and what tanmay uh, what tanmay is what tanmay bhat is he himself i think is a big donkey shit he doesn't have any brains of himself Anila he doesn't Singh. know what prime minister is he doesn't know what government Anila is Anila he Singh. simply he simply makes that, such that sounds like to, defamation uh, to gain that some of the popularity so that to a non okay, negative so, way so hang on hang on hang on uh, for the lawyers on this panel defamation is uh, first you have to display the intention next the publication which has just happened and lowering the image of someone was that what anila singh just did aditya pratap oh well I really wouldn't say on that aspect. I won't comment on that aspect. No, why not? No, because ultimately. No, but according to Sujay, it's okay for us to take offence on behalf of other people. Yes. So why not? Tell tell us, is this you? You just define defamation for us. Is this defamation? Oh well, <coughs> in such a case, first of all, what is defamation? Defamation is a statement which lowers a person's reputation in the eyes of others. has she lowered any person's reputation in the eyes well, of others she just called another individual donkeys shit donkey shit right yeah. that's yeah. what she said donkey oh, shit oh well if donkey she called that then levels, yes it is technically defamation lower. swaroop a person Kashyap. can take offense of this on this and file a complaint donkey donkey shit is several levels lower than a do- puppy filter i think i mean i think we can all agree that puppies are at least a couple of levels higher than donkey shit and uh, this, this can that, be your perception my dear somebody humiliating the prime minister of uh, india right. that doesn't matter to you and you are you are just no, taking uh, side of a ma'am, person ma'am, who doesn't means, know ma'am who anila ma'am with all, all when to cross the line with all due respect you are that, going that, to stand with him with all due can, respect no no he can insult anybody no, no, with, with any icons of this mean, country and mean, you are going to teach that us meme wasn't that what is defamation you. here that meme he doesn't wasn't know. meant for you that meme was meant for a specific target audience that understands what snapchat filters are 
and uh, clearly you all, don't just to come to the larger question no 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 in you haven't no no you aditya pratap yeah. very very I, carefully I changing changing the line of questioning here i'm still asking you how is what anila singh said not defamation and how is this defamation and anila singh is saying crossing the line at now at what point has she has she crossed the line here has she not crossed the line and let's just do this educationally so that all of us will understand what's what's allowed well, in our country and what first is not. of all aib it may be a company to call a company any bad word any pun pa an unparliamentary language she said tanmay but specifically she said tanmay but specifically that was well, the of my prime minister prima facie it is defamation but then again a defamation requires three things if she wants to defend herself she can take the question of intention like there was no malicious intent whatsoever there was there was clear <laughs> there was no malicious intent to want to do tit for tat so you sujay gandawala sujay gandawala was there intention there was no, that defamation she was uh, she was in deep anguish and that's for she momentarily lost uh, the, her uh, consciousness therefore it all came out i think there was no intention but you have to give her the benefit okay. of doubt she is so hurt by all this she is so hurt by this she is innocent she is totally innocent so what a defamation complaint i have to tell me that he thought it's funny but here it is no, here yeah, there is yeah, there is my intent, intent, intent was different right? that so my intent was to insult no how do you know that you think her intent was so that's my person out of exactly so he could have also come from that place let him you know this is like let him say that why did he delete the post because he realized that uh, what problem he has created for himself he deleted it so he so somebody can call him on national tv donkey shit but and that comes out from a place that is not so that is what you are talking as a society where do you draw the line on what is of defamation what is not so every, because you are in a power of position you can say something but he can not sunil pal se bhi aap sunil pal sunil pal kya aapko lagta hai ki jo anila singh ne abhi abhi kaha wo wo chalega how can you say like this how can you say like this how can you stand for a person like tanmay bhat who doesn't know what language he should use So you, you, you it's, it's, no, incidentally that that meme had no language in it at all it was just a visual it was it was a photograph but but hang on i want to hear what sunil pal has to say sunil pal sunil pal ji uh, sunil ji aapko kya lagta hai ki jo anila singh ne abhi abhi tanmay bhat ke bare mein kaha wo chalega prime minister who has hold the esteem of this country in the highest level in the world sunil pal आ, सबसे पहले तो मैं ये सारे गुणी लोगों को मैं प्रणाम करता हूँ कि एक अवगुणी आदमी के लिए एक ऐसे अवगुणी आदमी के लिए आ, सब लोग ज्ञानी लोग लड़ रहे हैं आ, वो मैं समझता हूँ कि तन्मय का आज एक्चुअली देखा जाए तो लॉटरी लग गई कि दुनिया के सारे गुणी लोग हिंदुस्तान के सारे गुणी लोग उसके लिए बात कर रहे हैं जिस आदमी के ए का फुल फॉर्म भी आप सबके सामने नहीं ले सकते ऐसे बंदे से आप क्या उम्मीद कर सकते हो जिसने एक संस्था बनाई ए जिसका फुल फॉर्म ही भारत को गाली देता है हिंदुस्तान को गाली देता है सुनील जी ऐसे बंदे के बारे में आप बात कर रहे हो ऐसे बंदे के बारे में आप टाइम वेस्ट कर रहे हो मुझे लगता है कि ये एफआईआर जो हुई है इस पर गौर किया जाए ताकि ऐसे बंदों को सबक मिले जो हिंदुस्तान को और हिंदुस्तान के किसी कलाकार को सुनील पाल सुनील पाल सुनील अभी अभी अनिल सिंह ने बारे में कहा ये आपके राय में एक्सेप्टेबल है हमें काम करना है ऐसा करना है कि जिसकी वजह से हमारा हमारा सम्मान बढ़े और हमारे काम की वजह से हमारे काम का सम्मान बढ़े इन सब इ, इन लोगों की वजह से स्टैंड अप कॉमेडी ये अपने आपको स्टैंड अप कॉमेडियन कहते हैं हालांकि ये स्टैंड अप कॉमेडी नहीं है लेकिन स्टैंड अप कॉमेडियन का नाम जोड़ के ये इस विधा को ये इस प्रोफेशन को बदनाम कर रहे हैं सुनील पाल इज क्लियरली स्टक इन दल्ड एज अगेन आई मीन दिस इज दर्ड और फोर्थ टाइम ऑन टी वी शो दट इज ब्रिंगिंग अप द नेम ए आई बी द फुल फॉर्म for it i think uh, you have to really get with the time sir uh, uh, the word bakchod is really not that bad uh, you can censor me if you'd like but it's really not that bad a word it's a word that people use please understand the context so of the meaning can you kindly explain the meaning of uh, it, aib it, 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 can you it, can it you means it means uh, yeah. the word bakchod means can you explain all india bakchod bura nahi hai it means log jo roast karte hain no wo bura nahi hai aap logo jo log gaaliyan dete rehte hain bade bade celebrity ko ko badnam karte hain unki khule aam insult karte hain wo bura nahi hai aap log bahut acche ho if you see something ka matlab kya hota hai jinhone naam kamaya hai jinhone izzat kamai hai wo bure log hain aap log bure nahi ho aapne ai bhi naam rakh liya bahut acha kaam kiya aur aap apne kaam mein aapke jitne shows hai sab ban kiye gaye सबके सब बैन किए गए देख लो आपके शोज को सब शोज को बैन किया गया अब सुनील सुनील पाल ये बैन करने की जो ये बैन करने की जो बात है अगर हम हर चीज को ऐसे बैन करते रहते हैं अगर 
बातचीत किए बिना हर चीज को हम ऐसे बैन करते रहते हैं तो हम एक दूसरे को रोज देखिए देखिए वो 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 क्या बैन नहीं करना चाहिए उसको उसको बैन नहीं करना चाहिए आईबी रोज को बैन नहीं करना चाहिए डीपर क्वेश्चन व्हिच वी ऑल आर इग्नोरिंग व्हिच व्हिच इज व्हिच इज द शेयर दैट यू डू नॉट अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज स्नैपचैट फिल्टर इज यस आई डू नॉट अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज स्नैपचैट फिल्टर इज ही स्टैंडिंग फॉर एआई कॉमेडी कर यहां पर बैठ कर बताए एएगा क्रिस रॉक कॉमेडी कर आई आई थिंक आई वांट टू गिव अदर कम टू यू जस्ट जस्ट हैंग ऑन Anila ji or uh, Sunil ji ek minute just give us one second i think one of the problems that we have in this country right now is that we are not willing to listen to each other ab sun to lijiye sunil ji ek baat sun lijiye badnam kar raha hai सुनिए कि वकील जी क्या कह रहे हैं आदित्य गोहेन हम फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इन सच इन सच अ पॉल्ट्री केस हाउ इज एन एफआर रजिस्टर्ड मार्क माय वर्ड्स देयर कैन बी नो एफआर फॉर डिफेमेशन बिकॉज़ इट्स अ नॉन कॉग्निसिबल ऑफेंस सेकंडली पीपल हु हैव नो लोकल स्टैंडिंग सम रैंडम सिटीजन हु इज नॉट अ पर्सन अग्रीव्ड अंडर सेक्शन 199 ऑफ द सीआरपीसी ही कन्विंसेस द पुलिस टू रजिस्टर एन एफआर and further such an fir is immediately struck by section 182 no, of the ipc but, but, you know, which is giving false the, information the fir has been filed in, with the cyber police under section 67 of the well, information okay, technology act requirement that the fir should prima facie disclose a cognizable offence does a, does the picture shown show obscenity it cannot be termed obscene by any standards the court in the case of bhajan lal versus state of haryana has held at least the fir on the statement offence should disclose some a cognizable offence Here, does that photo look obscene to you? Not at all. Section 67 immediately gets out. All remains in section 500. No fire. It should be quashed at the outset. Let the person who is aggrieved file a private complaint and initiate prosecution in magistrate's court. But police has no powers of arrest, that search, or seizure, or register a fire in this case. You might be not finding that photograph annoying. But the rest of the India is yes. well. The term annoyance was there in section 66A, which has now been struck down as unconstitutional. We ran out of time, but this is very interesting, and I'm glad we had this conversation uh, because uh, you know, like uh, like Pallavi pointed out, this is exactly what AIB wanted. They're a bunch of very very smart people. They know that they'll put something up and take it down, and automatically everybody will get riled up. Police will file FIRs in cases that they shouldn't be filing FIRs in. That uh, people will suddenly get really really upset, and this is because we've become. How did we become such a sensitive country? where we take offense to almost everything where we turn around constantly looking for things to upset us while we have if we want things to upset us there are lots of things there are things like people getting lynched in trains there are things like women getting raped acid being thrown on faces of young girls lives being ruined children being abused farmers committing suicide there are lots of things to get upset about i wish we would get more upset about those things but unfortunately we get upset about things like puppy filters and because we do we allow the smart men at aib to take advantage of those emotions we should just move on and stop taking offense and perhaps pay attention to what really matters thanks for watching